Hey friends, I'm Patrick from the .NET Web Academy and today let's cover some Blazor beginner stuff, meaning we will have a look at binding. To be more precise, one-way and two-way binding. What is that and how can we implement it? For that, let's create a new project. Of course, it's a Blazor web app in .NET 8. Let's call this Blazor binding net 8 and this is a great name no authentication type but regarding interactivity render mode or interactive render mode i would say in particular for beginners let's just choose auto because with that we have no issues with interactivity whatsoever so no non render mode this would be static server side rendering no server no web assembly just both of the interactive worlds so server and web assembly is what we can choose here and when this is done we have a server project and the client project maybe you already know that and for our quick example regarding one way and two way binding i would say in the client project here we just create a new razor component and we call this thing the coin collector.razor because I want to build something that is similar to the counter razor but here we start from scratch and we build a coin collector instead. Now the very first thing that we need is the page directive so we can reach this page for that we just call this coin forward slash and then coin collector and of course you can skip this if you already know how this is done but very important now the render mode so let's say this is interactive auto and what I want to do here now is simply add a button and when the user clicks this button then data is sent from the component to the UI so the UI updates the current value of a certain variable that we will add here the collected coins so we first go to the code block here and we add another variable private int int coins collected which is zero at the beginning and we also create a method returning nothing so private void collect coin and then here we simply say coins collected plus plus and now regarding the markup here we add a paragraph saying coins collected is at to reach our variable here and then again a button we can give this thing a class which is bootstrap in the end button primary and then add on click so meaning when this button is clicked we call the collect coin method and we give this thing a name of course so collect coin now again this is one way binding we click on this button we call a function and then something is happening here in this case this function will increment the uh, number of coins collected and then this is automatically updated or displayed here in the ui let's have a quick look there we are we enter our route because we have no navigation button whatsoever so coin collector it is you go there and you see it here now i can click on this button and we see coins collected is increased one short hint which is really important with dotnet 8 now you have to set the render mode if you don't set this thing here for instance we just remove this and restart the application there it is i can click here and nothing is happening because here now we have no interactivity when we only use a button you would have now to use a form to update the value but this is a totally different story so here now currently it is a static server side rendering blazer ssr great stuff because you can do a lot already with that but if you want to implement it like that so just a button and this button then calls a function only with HTML and C sharp, then you have to add interactivity to your application. All right, I've got a bunch of tutorials already on my channel regarding the render modes. If you need more in-depth information about that, please tell me that in the comments, then I'm happy to do so. But so far you see, we can use it. We can click the button and this thing is updated and in one direction, right? From the button in the end to the UI or from this code here, from this function, here the UI will be updated. Now the great thing is that we can also extend this with parameters. So for instance, let's turn this thing into a parameter with the parameter attribute. And now we turn this into a property. So public 
int coins collected and we add a getter and a setter and write this a bit differently now with a capital C and let's also add another parameter so we are more flexible in the end so prop int and then collection rate all right and by default we set this to one for instance but this could be for instance 10 so it is incremented by 10 each time we click on the button here we display still our coins collected and instead of just incrementing the coins collected like that we say now this is plus equals collection rate now when we do this so far nothing really changed with the actual logic right so when we restart the application again see it here it's restarted we can collect coins everything's great now we can by default of course set this to 10 and then you see the the difference the actual effect so now it's 10 20 and so on but the beauty of this is that we can use this now as a reusable component on another page so let's do that real quick and with that then you will see this leads to two-way binding in the end but first let's create another page so add a razor component and this time let's call this parent collector because this will be the parent component and again let's add page and the render mode so let me copy this just here paste it again render mode is interactive auto and this is now the parent collector again we add a variable here a private one int coins collected is now zero and now again i said that we can reuse the other component meaning that we can just open a tag here an element in the end and use our coin collector all right and now since we have our parameters here the collection rate and the coins collected we can set this here as well so collection rate should now be 10 for instance and the coins collected is now our coins uh, collected here or to make this maybe a bit more or better to see the difference a bit better jesus let me rename this thing call no it's not doing it visual studio thank you collected coins maybe this is what i actually wanted to do so we see this is not the co coins collected really from the coin collector prop uh, component here i think you get what i mean but with the parent col uh, collector now we see collected coins so this is something different right and in the end i would just want to display the collected coins here so another paragraph and again total coins is now at collected coins all right and when we run this now we restart the application this still works right this is our child component let's say and now when we go to our parent component the parent collector you see now this complete thing is here we can click on that thing so coins collected still works this is our child component still the coin collector but total coins right that thing here we actually said that our parameter the coins collected should be represented as the collected coins here in our parent component but doesn't work right so the second way of that binding does not work coins are collected and incremented but the collected coins are not updated and in the end this is because we are only using one-way binding here so now let's fix that with two-way binding so the ui and the component is updated in both ways all right to fix that now we go again to the coin collector and add another parameter so here parameter it is it's a property so prop and hit tab and this time this is an event callback maybe you already know where i'm going with this so this is an event in the end we call this coins collected changed and this is actually a convention to call this changed why you will see this in a minute and now in our collect coin method we have to do something because here now we have to invoke this event with coins wait coins collected changed and then invoke async and we have to give this thing the new value of coins 
collected. All right, so this is how we invoke this event in the end, coins collected change. Now to react to that event, we go back to our parent controller and this is not enough. What we actually want to do, we want to bind to this thing. So bind coins collected, collected coins. And with that, then this value will be updated Actually, we can close this already here so we can read it a bit better. And this thing, again, this is why I said this is a convention. This listens then to the coins collect changed event. And when this event is fired, in the end, we will set the value that we get to our collected coins. All right, let's just try that out. We restart our application. There we are again. And now we can click here and everything's great, right? Thing is, again, what if we uh, did like that and we say, okay, this is now called uh, changed to, for instance, and we restart the application. See, we already get a get an error here because it says doesn't have a property matching the name coins collected changed. So we are even not able to bind to that thing. We can uh, remove the error, of course, if you just remove the binding here and restart this thing then but well, this doesn't really help because it's not working anymore. So let's just use the bind. And here we change that back to simply coins collected changed. And let me try that one more time. It works. Hope you learned something. If so, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Helps to make more videos like that. Tell me in the comments what you also want to see. Maybe more beginner stuff. I think this is uh, something that I have to add to my channel. So if you have any, let's say beginner to intermediate questions, maybe here regarding Blazor or .NET or C Sharp even, please tell me that in the comments. Again, thank you very much for watching. Maybe you want to check out the .NET Web Academy for more in-depth courses about Blazor and .NET. Again, thank you very much for watching and I hope I see you next time. Take care.